We're going to have a look at reclining butterfly. Now this is a beautiful restorative variation. You're going to need quite a few props for this one. So you're going to need a strap, a bolster, a blanket, and a block. Now you could do this without a blanket and just a bolster and a block and a strap. But a strap is kind of important, this one. If you don't have a strap, I'd say skip this one. Um, so the positioning of the block, for people who want to get a deeper spinal extension, it's going to be about a block's width away from the end of the bolster, like so. Now you can, if you want to make this easier, just place the block further up the bolster. I'll show you both variations. So you're going to have the soles of the feet touching like so, bum up against the bolster like so. And then you're going to make a nice big sash, big belt out of this strap. You know, have the, um, the, the buckle ready to go. And then what you do is you bring it over. Usually I have it with a, a little pull, like the free end of the strap pointing forward over to my right hand side. And then bring it over you like a big belt. Now you bring that, that belt buckle, so the, the buckle of the strap, closer to your right hip off to the side. So the little strap, like the free end, is over here on the right hand side. And then now that it's over your waist, you're going to get the, the loop, and it doesn't go over your knees, so don't include your knees in this, just over those toes. That's it. So the knees are free, and again, just show you that again, around the waist, just hook over the toes. Easy enough. Make sure it's low down on your hip, and then you're gonna grab hold of that free end of the buckle and you just pull, just pull it forward. And then bring the feet a little bit closer, pull again. Now, from here, you're just gonna allow yourself to lie back onto your bolster and you'll have something for underneath the head, nice and supported, so you don't get a compression point at the back of the neck. Hands can be relaxed out to the side. If you really want, you can bring the arms out if that's gonna be comfortable for you. You're so welcome to do that. Now, if this is going to be too strong in the lower back, or actually, so to come out, definitely use your hands, support yourself, chin to the chest, coming back up, releasing the strap, etc. Now, to make this more comfortable for you, what you'll do is you'll actually take that block further away from you, and that means you're not going to ask for as much extension in your lower lumbar. Again, tighten that strap again, like so, bring the feet closer as much as you can. And then as you lie back, you're not asking as much in your lower lumbar extension to come back. Something underneath the head, again, you can do this without a, like a cushion, or sorry, a blanket, but it is just a little bit more comfortable. You could easily just use another block as well instead of having a blanket. So this is a little bit more accessible for most students. Now, some people will get compression points here in the outer hip. The way to work with that is maybe opening the strap out and allowing the feet to go further away or come closer together. Or you can also just get a little block or two blocks and just place it underneath the knee and that'll just remove that outer hip compression point where the femur bone, the greater trochanter of the femur bone, is most likely just pressing into the lip of the acetabulum, which is part of your pelvis, your ilium, sticking out to the side where the femur bone inserts into the hip, basically. So then that's going to be how to release it from here. Now I use this pose for our spleen, uh, knees bent, knees open wide, and then also liver, knees open wide, which is going to be your adductors. And then also you're going to get a little bit maybe into your rectus abdominis, so that's going to be through your stomach. And then because it's going through the front line of the spine, you're going to get something through your kidney as well. And if you have your arms up and out to the side, you're going to be getting through your pec major, pec minor, so that's going to be getting into your lung, and then you could say that's also your pericardium as well, because your pec minor, uh, sorry, your pericardium goes from just lateral to the nipple, through the pec minor, through the bicep, through the center of the, the forearm, and then center of the hand as well. You could say it's maybe getting into the heart a little bit, because it has that feeling of heart opening. And yeah, that's about all the pathways you're going to get in this one. It's quite a good one. And you can stay here for quite a long time. I usually leave people here for five, six, seven minutes, even 10 minutes if they're comfortable enough. And then rebound easy enough. You could just release the strap first, um, reach down and do it, release the feet out, 
allow people just to rest here for a few moments or then just roll to the side and make your way into a supported uh, rebound on the back, bolster underneath the thighs. And do give people a little bit of a rest as you're coming out of this. Absolutely. And that's going to be your reclining butterfly position, supported butterfly position. Oh.